Okay, YouTubers, this is YouTube Prisoner 35784 reporting. Now today, I've got some interesting stuff on Mars to show you. Now at the moment, the, um, the Mars rovers are not able to send any new stuff to Earth at the moment because the sun is blocking the transmission signal as Mars is on the opposite side of the sun to Earth, okay? So for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be doing some older stuff and showing you some of the earlier pictures from uh, the Curiosity rover because actually some of these are really good and this was before the camera lens got really dirty and, then, and the ones we see now are either in black and white or the, the colour ones are very mucky looking but these are quite clear because this was early on in the mission this is Sol 393 mast right now this is a calcified figure and gargoyle Okay, I'll go straight into it and show you, and then I'll show you these up close in a bit more detail as well. Um, now, this is the gargoyle. Now, it's just on this ridge, well, it's not a ridge, there's a sort of group of little pebbles and rocks all kind of stuck together, and then there's this little thing sticking out. Now, how big is this? I think this is probably only a few inches in height, but it's got a clear sort of oval part here with a head and a nose and a mouth with teeth in it and a chin. And what looks like a little hand-shaped object just to the side of it here and slightly behind and it's got this weird sort of collar coming around there that was interesting i'll show you that up close in a bit more detail in a second and there's this thing now this initially looks just like a pile of sort of pebbles stuck together but when you look at this closely this has got some very interesting details on it now this is also only probably about four inches or five inches tall a bit a bit bigger than that uh, gargoyle thing i just showed you and um this is really weird, and if I show you the magnifier, we've got here what looks like a figure here. This is a head. We've got an arm here with something attached here, and then something coming down here and down to here. Almost like it, it's a sort of mechanical object with an arm with a joint here. I'll just show you where to look on the Gigapan here. The little gargoyle is right at the bottom here, so it's quite near to the rover and it's, it's very small. This is probably only a few inches in size, this thing, just here. Okay, and you can see that weird hand thing there and this oval joint, like a collar, and this is the head. Okay, so that's near the bottom. Now the other thing is over here, it's a bit taller than that, probably a couple of inches taller, and it looks like a kind of rock or lump of clay that something's kind of stuck onto and calcified and solidified in the sun and dried out. So it's very strange. And even in the raw clip here, if you look carefully, let's go back a little bit and use the magnifier. If you look carefully, you can see there's two little nostrils here. There's a head. This is a shoulder, arm, wrist, hand holding something which has got a circular part to it which comes down here and joins to this stuff down here. I'm just gonna draw around some of these things. Now, this isn't very big and it may actually just be a figurine. It may be some kind of mechanical thing, I don't know. It may even be a calcified creature holding something. Uh, I don't know, but it's very, very strange. Uh, many of these things are going unnoticed on the surface because A, because NASA don't even really look at these images. They don't really study them. They churn out thousands of images every day and they don't even have time, I think, to even study them properly and uh, even obfuscate them. I, th I just think they just chuck them on the website and most people ignore them. And there's only a few of us out here, a few thousand of us around the world who actually look at these really closely and study them and analyse them properly and up close. And that's when you find interesting things. If you don't look at these images properly, and just look at the overall image and then flick to the next one and flick to the next one, you're not going to find anything. You've got to get in close, you've got to enlarge them, you've got to use a magnifier, you've got to get in close and study them carefully and work out exactly what's going on on the ground in fine detail. Okay? But here it is. I mean, now, here's those nostrils. One here, one here. All right? And uh, those can be seen in, even in the raw clip. This is a, what I think is a head here. Those are eyes or nostrils, just there. And then we've got, an arm. we've got a shoulder here, an arm coming to there. 
and then we've got this thing curling around, which looks a bit like a thumb or an object. Here, like a joint, perhaps. Right? But then we have another thing coming off here. So it's got two square details there. Like that. Which then goes into here and links up to all this here, right? And then we have this rather smudged out area. I've tried to sharpen it a bit. We've got a roundish part there with what look, look like two dots there and a nose maybe. And this kind of joins to that like that. And it's all kind of jumbled up and mixed up with bits of clay and what look like sedimentary uh, deposits that have stuck to it or, or bits of clay that have dried out and some of it's cracked and fallen away and this is eroded of course and then we have down here some weird stuff going on down here which look a bit like feet okay or at least one foot there and possibly another one here all right so we've got a weird jumble of stuff here that's kind of calcified and stuck together like this right and this, I think, is the back of this thing. With the sort of spiny parts on the back. Right? And there's kind of joined to this. Down here. Very, very strange. And um, if you look at this thing, it's got this kind of detail here. Coming around like that. And then here. Like a nose sticking out there, almost. And there's some detail there. Possible ear detail. Is this a figurine? It could be. I've found many, many figurines in this area. Some of them of gargoyles, some of them of creatures, uh, all different types of animals. Um, some of them of people, little people, and uh, even women and, and, and men, which look human or humanoid. Some of them don't. Some of them look very unhuman or uh, more humanoid-like rather than actual human types. Some of them look like little lizards and, and um, animals that have been carved. I think that a lot of these things may have been burial items. Um, so that was that, was that really. A, re a real interesting jumble of, of things here. But you've got a definite arm with an object there, which is um, really interesting. But unfortunately, this thing is quite small. But you can see all that in the raw image, okay? Let's get rid of all that for you. Now, once you've seen that arm, you can actually pick it out with your eyes once you've figured out that it's there and you can actually see that arm quite clearly and the thing that caught my eye was this bit here which curls round and we got like a, a, a spiral part or rounded part there which looks like some kind of mechanical thing that this thing is holding or representing something that's mechanical and then we got the head there with the two eyes or nostrils there right? very strange indeed and then we've got this part that joins to that part there with the two square bits there now what i'm going to do be, whilst we're on this one i'm going to darken this up a bit add a bit more contrast and see if some of these shapes actually come out better for you to have a look at because um they're not that clear and i've already enhanced this but it helps if you add more contrast and then the shapes start to pop out a bit more and you can actually see that arm a lot more clearly now and that round thing and those two square things there, right? Very interesting. So this is either a figurine or some kind of similar thing, I don't know, um, that's encrusted, was calcified and encrusted in clay, and it's eroded, but still relatively intact, but it's kind of stuck to this thing here. Very weird, okay? So that was cool. And then the other thing, which I'm calling a gargoyle for one of a better term, but it may be another figurine, possibly a burial figurine was it, that was buried with somebody. This could actually be an open grave here or an eroded grave. And we're seeing some of the objects that were possibly buried with someone, who knows? But this thing is interesting because it's got an eye here, an eye here. We got a little nose there. We got a mouth with teeth like this and this one seems to come over that one right like that we got a chin it comes up to here and then we have this oval part that goes right up to there 
and the head sort of sticks out in a funny shape like this with the detail here right there's the eye it's there and there upper lip or some weird sort of upper, upper lip detail going on here and there seems to be another tooth or something in there which is a bit vague and uh, the body comes down like this to here right and it's kind of joined to this weird sort of color part here this thing this looks like a very elaborate color of some sort or represents one okay and uh, you can see all that in the in the raw image here in fact if I go back to the gigapan it's all there if you use the hover zoom magnifier as I always recommend um, these things are fairly clear even without doing anything to the image you can see it there let's go back a little bit and then zoom hover zoom you can see the eyes you can see that nose you can see that mouth there you can see this collar coming up round in, in almost perfect it was right round to here a sort of perfect oval shape which reeks of artificiality in itself so even if you don't believe this is a gargoyle um, it's definitely artificial because of that it's far too perfect and we got that weird thing behind it which may or may not be attached to it I don't know like a little hand with three fingers maybe okay that's weird and there's loads of weird little things here and in fact if you look in the ground there's some interesting structures in the ground and this is part of a it's kind of on the edge of this clump of, of weird structures which are buried that look like concrete slabs or paving stones or or something I don't know part of a structure just here in the ground which comes up to here and then joins to this thing here which looks like part of something so what we may be seeing here is some kind of remains of a building or a burial or something and uh, it's all kind of filled in with sand and that some of it's eroded away and then these things are exposed left exposed by the erosion okay there was another thing up here which looks a bit like a statue as well but unfortunately the top of it's cut off because it's right on the edge of the image just here um, let's go back a little bit I'll show you that with a magnifier very quickly but unfortunately we're missing the top part of it so I'm not going to go on and on about this one but you can see it has a nose here with two nostrils an eye here an eye here and the mouth with some weird detail there like a lip or a tongue sticking out and there seems to be teeth de detail there one two three four five so that's right at the top of the image here but like I said it's right on the edge so we're only seeing the bottom of it unfortunately we're not seeing the top of it this would probably come up like this and I, ha I have actually looked for this in other images and souls either side of this and I can't find it from another angle unfortunately so we may never see that in its full entirety there was this one exposed rebar this is a really nice one this lovely detail in this one um, now one or two people may have seen this before or shown it before I don't know but um, this has got some great detail in it really nice detail and this is 1685 okay Sol 1685 we've got loads of very fine layers of eroded shale and mudstone here really fine right and we got little things sticking out in the ground like this tiny tiny shard of something sticking out this white thing okay like a little metal pole or it's probably a piece of this shale rock that's at a funny angle but it's really strange and some of this stuff is so fine um, and so thin you, you just wonder how it survived um, the conditions and over here we have what looks like rebar now some of this may just be shale rock that's eroded and broken in a funny way but this one looks just like a like almost like a rifle sticking up there and there are others like this that I've shown these crop up quite a lot and they tend to stick out of rocks like this and then then stick out at a funny angle now I think these are actually pieces of metal that were inside this concrete here and like I've said before I've shown many times before a lot of this stuff is actually concrete it's not just shale or mud rock or or whatever or sedimentary layers a lot of this stuff is concrete and it's got metal rebar this reinforced concrete that's eroded and some of the metal parts have survived and stick out all right that's maybe what we're looking at here and there's some more up here with lots of real fine detail on it some of this and then there was this thing the box 
This is actually a box, a metal box. It's not made of um, rock, this is metal. And I'll put a clip of that in. I've got a, another angle on that, which I can show you with a lot more detail, okay? But that's really cool. And when you see it um, from the other angles, you can see into it and it's completely hollow, right? From this angle, it doesn't look that convincing, but when you see it from the next angle, I'm gonna show you in a minute, it, you will be like, wow, that's an actual metal, corroded metal box, okay? made of steel or something, some kind of alloy, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's kind of calcified and, and uh, rusted and eroded as well, like everything else in the area. This may have been a box, another box here. And it's all kind of corroded away, but the way it's balancing on, on here is absolutely mental. You can see the shadow underneath there, look. So this may be metal, some of it, okay? Which is why it's maintained itself in that in that way and not just crumbled okay so there's some crazy stuff so that's Sol 1685 the main one I showed you earlier that was Sol 393 um, I've got loads of other stuff I want to show you but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a couple of days I've got loads of new stuff that I found and I've been uploading a load of stuff that I found in the past as well I will be doing a lot more videos on the Sunday now it seems to work well um, I get slightly better coverage on the Sunday for some reason um, even though my channel is actually censored by a factor of about 80%, the numbers you see on my videos are 80% redacted, okay? Now that not only means the actual new subscriber number count going up, that's redacted by 80%, but also the view count, okay? And uh, that's what's happening. And this has been happening now for about four or five years, or well, since 2016, so that'd be five years. So one of, one of the most plagiarised, yet one of the most censored channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please share on social media. Please give the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.